Um, hold on. I think I got a picture of Brandon over here working. Um, there he is. What's up, Brandon? Uh, Brandon! Brandon! Oh, there he is. He's working right now. This is his uh, office. This so. is my office. You can see I got my bag with my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and I got okay. my papers right here, see? Okay, okay, all right. All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today we're back at the Hill County Barn Dominion build. And today it's all about roofing. Getting the roof on is kind of like opening the gate for all of our other trades to get in here. So I'm really excited to be making this progress today and we've got good weather. So that just means that since we did all this framing, it's not going to get covered up with uh, rain and water and all that kind of stuff. You know, as your framing can get wet, things can get a little bit wonky and stuff. So you try not to get it wet if you can, get it dried in as soon as possible. So today we're getting the roof dried in, which means next week we'll be focused on getting our HVAC, electrical, and plumbers in here to do the rough in, which speeds everything else along. So that's the game plan. Uh, but today it's all about roofing. So we'll be showing you guys some of the progress on this. Hope you enjoy this video. And don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Uh, let's go check it out. guys so this will be the last time we have this open skylight in here and as you can see we're making good progress coming uh, over here from the I guess you would call this the west side of the house and already got like let's see one five or six panels on up there and working our way down this way on this back slope uh, one thing that I can point out here um, because we have the uh, porch roof here, um, we do have to put the porch roofs on first um, by doing that to create a flashing. Um, and of course, this is already done right here. So you get an idea what that's gonna feel like. Of course, we will be going underneath here and putting our closed soffit systems. And there's talks that we possibly are gonna be doing maybe a screened in porch back here on the back um, because our clients are talking about maybe doing a special project as well over here. But uh, so we had to create some flashing, which the guys were putting on earlier. And uh, so we had some flashing made to where it can make for the transitions on the porches from the front to the back. Um, but yeah, so because I like to get my HVAC in here first, um, I got to get the roof put on so we can be dried in in order to start running uh, all of the rough ends for the, the main trades, HVC, HVAC, electrical, and plumbing. Um, that's what it's all about to move the project forward is to get those trades in here and getting a, a build like this dried in is crucial for that. So. Um, we've already, you know, we're trying to set our sights on having everybody here next week and see about getting things roughed in. So, as you can see, the sun is shining and it's about to be shaded in here. So, um, let me kind of give you guys another picture of the outside, showing you kind of some of the progress with the majority of the framing because 
we did cut the video short on the framing. You didn't get to see all of our zip system. Um, but as you can see, we've got all that in the background. Um, we do run that all the way up here on the sides. And so you see our zip system with our zip tape over here in this area. Um, this uh, area right here, uh, we will be, we're waiting on our windows. Um, so that's why we're not going to start running wall panels yet, but that's what's beautiful about this. Having this zip system is I can start all these other trades and I'm technically dried in, uh, for the moment where we can keep moving forward and making progress on all of the other items that we're doing here. So, um, that's what it's all about is, uh, the name of the game is progress and moving the needle on these builds so that you're not having to delay. Um, the windows are delayed a little bit, but that's not gonna affect us in the immediate critical path. So we are doing a little bit of work here on the front. We got a couple things we had to come back um, and cut those brace points as you guys saw in the last video for the porches, which we've already, already done. And I had to have the guys come back and add uh, some transition attachment points for the uh, porch roof. There was a couple of missing points there, but uh, we got all that done yesterday in preparation for the roofers being here today. So here's the transition trim that I was talking about. They're 10 foot long. Um, and basically what you have here is uh, a little bit of an angle on it. Um, this is what's helping us transition from the 512 to like a 212 pitch from the porch to the roof. And so these will go above the porch on one side and under the roof on the other side, and there'll be closure strips on each point. So uh, that's kind of how that works. And that just uh, to show you guys that our guys do wear face protection, because I know I've got a couple of comments about that on a couple of videos. But, you know, we have all that stuff here. Sometimes a guy might grab a hand uh, saw or something and have forgotten, which we try to make sure that that don't happen. But uh, just so you guys know, we do uh, practice safety principles here on these builds. Right, Brandon? Yes, sir. left for just a little bit and i'm telling you these guys have made all kinds of progress i was gone for maybe two or three hours and the whole back of the roof is done and both porches and now um, we're starting to lay out the front part of the house so uh it's still just about four o'clock but the goal is these guys are going to stay and try to get it knocked out today uh, so that's what I love about it. But meanwhile, uh, Brandon and the guys have been going around um, doing some weather proofing with the zip tape. Let's see if I can brighten it. And you can see we're doing the liquid flash um, uh, all, of, all along here. Also, uh, we're, we, were, we have been rolling some of the tape in a couple spots where um, my framers didn't get it quite as good as what we wanted. Uh, so that's what it's all about. Just over, overseeing and making sure that everything is the way that we want it. 
Um, as you can see, having this zip system is definitely beneficial for us uh, for air tightness. We will be going along the base here and sealing all that. And I don't know if we'll catch it on this build or not, us doing that, because we'll probably be doing that on another day. But <clears throat> uh, we're making the most progress we can um, out of the day. So these guys are installing the flashing right now, which uh, here's a piece of it right now. This is the flashing, that's the transition uh, flashing. As you can see, it's just got a slight angle bend to it. Um, but these guys are installing that now and then getting ready to do the roof cover. So, I mean, it looks totally different in here. Just covering it up. You can see porches are covered. All of this area in here is covered. I mean, it, it already feels huge, uh, the space in here, which it is. It's a very large setting. Uh, kitchen is gonna be going over in this area. Um, here, I don't know if you caught this in the framing video that we just uh, put out a couple days ago, but we do have a fireplace here in the living area. Um, but look at all the roofing we've got installed all the way across. So all of this side is done. And like I said, they're about to lay out the panels on the other side, but it really, really looks nice. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. As you can see, these guys are in beast mode and got this roof knocked out today. So <clears throat> that's what it's all about, moving the needle on progress. And I'm really excited because that means we can push forward with all of our other trades. So uh, that means here we come. Uh, we're pushing forward on this Hill County Barn Dominion. So I appreciate you guys following along. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And, uh, you know, uh, tell somebody else about our channel. So uh, it really helps us out a lot. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. I'm Josh Helm, wishing you all the best. Thanks for watching. Texas Best.